Today marks another day in fall severe weather preparedness week. WTVA meteorologist John DeLusic is back to share with us a little bit about tornadoes. Yeah, tornadoes, certainly we will not be seeing anything like this in the near future. We are very calm, but October and November notoriously are what we call secondary severe weather season. Our main severe weather season goes from February through May, and a lot of folks wonder on how tornadoes develop, and I'll step a little away from here. First of all, you need a good surface wind, especially coming in out of the south and southeast, and then upper air winds that are very strong. This causes a circulation to happen, a rotation, basically, that needs some lift, and when what warm air rises, cold air sinks. When we get a warm day with warm air rising, watch what happens. That picks up this circulation going, this cone of air, and it basically goes up and hooks up with the thunderstorm up above. And with this updraft hooked up with the thunderstorm up above, as it started on the surface, we develop what we call a wall cloud. And that wall cloud spinning from that wall cloud with that circulation going on, a tornado usually develops. Now, if it doesn't reach the ground, it's called a funnel cloud, but if a tornado or a system or whatever in the, the, the circulation does reach the ground from the system itself, it's officially called a tornado. And tornadoes can range, Craig, from anywhere from a couple of feet of distance to maybe 100, 200 miles on the ground of distance. And, uh, and uh, again, EF zeros to EF fives. And uh, just to give you an example, the EF threes were Amory and Tupelo here in the last several years were EF three tornadoes, and those were just moderate tornadoes. And um, Rolling Fork was the EF4. Unfortunately, we know firsthand how yep. bad tornadoes can be. Indeed we do. John, thanks so much. For several weeks, Cyril